Hi guys, Justin here again, and I'm back for day nine of my post a video every day for 30 days challenge. And today I want to talk about the hollow position. It's something that uh, we obviously use a lot in gymnastics, um, but it's pretty prominent in just any, any strength and conditioning world, uh, especially CrossFit and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's something that I see performed wrong quite often, right? So uh, if you're not familiar with the hollow position, it's kind of that classic, that classic position where you see people holding off the ground like this. And it's not just lying on our back with feet up and arms overhead. Um, and maybe shoulders and head up. Those are all characteristics of a proper hollow position, but what we're really looking for is proper position between your hips and your shoulders. That's what hollow position is. People call it hollow body. It's really hollow torso. And anything you do with your arms and your legs is really just adding more or less load to that position. Okay, so what the hollow position is, is it's this rounded, closed off front body scrunching. I always talk about like you're trying to connect your sternum to your pelvis or like you're trying to touch your belly button to your pelvis. So it's this tucking in right here and it's characterized by your low back being flat on the ground. So you can see that when we lie flat on our back just in a normal uh, lying position, you've got this gap in your low back, right? And then what we're aiming to do is tuck everything right here to fill that gap in. So how I like to teach it, we start lying on our back like this, we feel that gap, then you bring your knees over your chest and we feel how that fills that gap in. So what we're doing when we bring our knees over our chest is you're rocking your pelvis like that, right? You're tilting it toward the back, it's called posterior pelvic tilt. And so that tucked pelvis position is what we're looking for in hollow. So I, I know that I'm maintaining it when my low back is flat on the ground. Now I pick my shoulders up and my head up and close all that off. This is hollow position. It's not maybe a very difficult variation because I've got my knees tucked and my arms done by my side like this, but that's fine. My torso is in the proper position, exactly what we're looking for for hollow. What you do from here is just adding resistance and difficulty to this position. Okay, so what we're doing is maintaining this position and anything you do with your legs, maybe they start to come out, maybe they straighten, they can come lower. As long as we're maintaining that low back on the ground, I'm still hollow, then we can go arms out by the side or arms overhead. Okay, so when you're progressing through those variations and you're lying with your knees over your chest, and we're starting to load it up by straightening and lowering and doing all this stuff. As soon as you feel that back lift off, right, you'll know because you can feel it on the ground or you'll see your ribs jut forward like this, you know that you've lost your hollow position. So just because you can hold your feet up like this and your arms over your head, this is not hollow because you can see that my low back's not on the ground, okay? So there's no point in holding yourself like that with your legs out and your arms up and reinforcing something that's not hollow. So go just as far as you can to where you don't feel that back lift off. That's your hollow position for now. Hold it for time. And then as you get stronger, you can progress into the more difficult variations. Okay? So use that. <laughs> use that. Uh, have a perfect hollow next time you're training it and don't worry too much about what your arms and your legs are doing knowing that as you get stronger you'll get all the way out to that nice beautiful flat hollow position. Okay, see you guys next time.